So first things first, when you move into this space, you have our very big living room area. It's very much open for plan concept here. Um, and I have so many ideas, so you guys just gonna stay tuned for that. Um, but what we're gonna do in this space, you know it's gonna be great, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. So let's go ahead and get started on this tour. So like I said, this is like the back of the living room area. We have two ceiling fans in here, um, as well as two windows on the front part of the house. And then once you move back here, um, this is just a general front storage closet um, for coats and things and stuff like that. I don't know that's for Echo. It's an empty house, what did you expect? Anyway, so now that we move on back here, we have our kitchen. And obviously, it's a pretty big kitchen. It's not as big as the one we had in Japan, but it's still pretty decent size. Um, I have a lot of rental friendly upgrades coming in here as well. But we have dishwasher, sink, stove, all of those things, uh, refrigerator, stuff like that. So, yeah, definitely some rental friendly ideas coming through that. But let's move into the dining space. Now, this is the dining room, and it is really big as you can see and I have so many events for this now we aren't really formal dining kind of people but I have plans for this that will make it more functional for what we need um, we also have this bar here that is where we're going to put our bar stools and stuff like that and then we also have windows here in the back and then also out here is our back patio which obviously we're going to do something with that as well um, right now, we just have two chairs out there, but once it's ready, it's going to be beautiful. So, let's go ahead and look back here. Here is our pantry. I'm not going to open that because we are obviously just moved in. We don't have much stuff, so it's a pantry. But once you move back here, you have a laundry room. So, this laundry room is really huge and much more bigger than the one we had in the uh, Our wash and dryer, once those things arrive, here and they did provide shelving up on the top but we're gonna figure it out because I'm only 5'3 and this is a good effort but also in this space is this general storage closet here now this is where we can just put like brooms and mops and all that kind of things like that um, this space I do have something really cool planned out for kind of like a folding table maybe so I can fold the clothes put the laundry bags and something neat something really cool so stay tuned for that but additionally back space we have this additional storage now it just came this and I'm thinking this is where I'm going to store my holiday decor and stuff like that when not in use so that it can just kind of have a nice place it's not outside I don't have to worry about bugs and stuff getting into but for right now our suitcases are in here we're unpacking and that stuff is going in for now so moving out of the lunch room Also in this space, we have a powder bathroom. So this is gonna be where our guests use the bathroom when they come over. So they don't have to go out and upstairs if they're not staying long term. But there's just a toilet in here, a sink and cabinets. Um, and then obviously it's slanted in here, but we're gonna do something really cool in here too to kind of give it a nice bowl pop. Now once you come out of the powder bathroom, this is the garage, well the door to it from the inside at least. Um, there isn't much in here obviously right now, but this is where I'm going to be doing all of my crafts and things like that. All of my tools will be out here. It's empty, but yeah. Alright, so moving back out through the living room, we are going to come towards this way, we're going to come back towards the entrance of our home. And we're going to go ahead and go upstairs. Now, our home did come with fresh new carpet, which is something I can appreciate because I don't like sharing carpet that people have been on. But so, once you reach upstairs, you're on the main landing. We have a couple of rooms up here as well as bathrooms. So, we're going to move right on into my office. So, this is my office. Um, this is where my desk and my computers and things like that will go. And probably where I'll film a lot of videos, especially my talking head videos. Um, oh, I'm scared. That's something I gotta get used to. Yeah, I have big plans for this. It's definitely smaller than the office I had in Japan. 
but I know it's gonna be really great for what I have planned for it. So I'm going ahead and plan out all that, but there is a closet in here, which is really nice. Um, so I can put all of my storage things. And since my tools won't be in here anymore, I have a lot more storage space. So back out into the main landing, um, right on this side you have the, I guess you can call this the guest bathroom or bathroom number two. This is the first full bathroom in the house, which has a countertop, um, mirror, toilet, full, walk, full tub and shower situation. So there's that. Sorry, the ventilator was on. But there's also a medicine cabinet in here as well. And so it'll be perfect for when we have guests that are staying over or who are just gonna like, you know, need to shower, I guess. I guess that's the only people reason people need to shower in your home. Now, also out here, we have a linen closet. Um, obviously for linens, it's not very big, but it's just enough. And then once you move into this room, this is gonna be my husband's office slash gaming room. He is a huge gaming fanatic, so he's gonna have all the space to do all the things in here. Um, and then like windows and stuff like that to make sure we get adequate lighting. There is a closet in here as well. One thing I didn't mention, but Every room in this house has ceiling fans, which are they my favorite? No, but being in the South and knowing how hot it gets down in the South, ceiling fans are important. Would I like something more modern? Yes. Am I gonna take them down? No. Um, so they'll just be something that you guys will see in the future videos that like, why didn't you change your fans? Why are your fans like that? Well, they came with the house. So anyway, moving back on out. Now this is the master bedroom. And is it smaller than the one we had in Japan? Yes, but there's a huge trade-off and I'm gonna show you in just a second. So this is the master bedroom. Um, it is nice and big, it's big enough for a queen. Obviously right now we have just a queen air mattress in here. We have no furniture at the moment, obviously. Um, and then moving on over, we do have two windows in this space. Now, they're gonna provide a lot of natural light in the space once we get curtains and things like that hung up. We do have the standard uh, mentor blinds that are builder grade that they put into homes here. So there's that. But we're gonna make do with what we can make. And then moving in here, this is the master bathroom, which, which if you've seen me in my past videos, you know that Having this master bathroom is definitely something that I'm excited about because it does include a tub and a shower. In Japan, we only had a shower and a master bathroom and it was very tiny. So we had to make do with a lot of things in that space. But this one has a double vanity, which I love for me and my husband, which is gonna be perfect. And then there's also a toilet, which is right behind the door, but you guys don't really need to see the toilet. It's right behind the door. But there's lots of space in here and lots of things I'm gonna do in here as well. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for that. Now, for the special piece de resistance, the trade-off that was with having the smaller master, let me show you what that is. This door leads to a very special place. And it's special because this is something we didn't have in Japan, and I'm so happy to have it here in the States. And this was where I'm having the smaller master. This is our walk-in closet. And I'm so excited about it. Right now, our things are in here just kind of like wherever. We're still waiting on our shipment of furniture and stuff like that to come in. But this is our walk-in closet and I'm so happy about it. Like shoes and clothes and all the things up fit in here a lot better than it is in Japan. And we're gonna do something just like make it nice and cool so it's like we have a walk-in closet again. And that is something I couldn't be more excited about. Okay, let's head downstairs. All right guys, so that is gonna be it. Um, this is the full house tour. I'm so excited for all of the DIYs and home decor and things like that that I have planned for you guys. You may have noticed in my living room I have a pile of home decor sitting on the floor. Stay tuned because I'm sharing a full home decor haul video for you guys to show you all things I've been buying for the new house that and I will see you guys in next week's video. I'm excited to see where this new journey takes us and all the DIYs and everything we get to create. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next week.